typical earbuds go inside the outermost part of our ear canal and generally the amount of space between the earbud itself and the skin affects the noise cancellation properties. Medically you're not supposed to stick anything smaller than an elbow inside your ear so unless you have monstrosities for ear holes it's pretty much impossible. This means that you need to keep shit out of your ears. Aftershocks that is a company not widely known has a fix for this issue introducing a whole lineup of headphones that use bone conduction technology. Bone conduction is a part of how we are able to hear sounds around us. You see our eardrums and superficial bones located just at the end of our ear canals pick up different sound waves and in return our brain processes those noises to what we hear. Aftershocks headphones work by sending these tiny vibrations to the bones located in the upper part of our cheeks, then sending those vibrations to the cochlea for our brains to process. The cochlea is actually the bones inside of our ear. This technology isn't new since theoretically it was adopted from the military and implemented into consumer products. It is something though that I do appreciate. The headphones I currently have from Aftershocks are the Blue 2S's which retail for about 100 bucks and can be purchased at the link in the description of this video. They do come in a few different colors, however I have the black variant. Inside the box you get a micro USB to standard USB cable used for charging and then you have a rubber adapter for resizing the rear portion of the headphones a little bit better. You get some paperwork, well actually lots of paperwork, if you reflect of stickers and finally a slick style carrying pouch. The Blue 2S headphones feature a power button and a volume up and down button found on the bottom of the right hand side. You'll also find a cover protecting the micro USB port used for charging and then you have an LED notification light. On the left hand side you're going to find another button with a vibration type icon on it. This is used for playing, pausing, skipping, reversing, and accessing your voice assistant. The overall build quality is pretty solid. They're made of a glossy plastic which does hold up good in the durability department but does show fingerprints. Unfortunately they do have have a bit of heft to them for Bluetooth headphones and this does affect the comfort level and I'll cover that in just a bit. They are IP55 certified making them sweat resistant and somewhat water resistant when it comes to rain. Just don't jump in the pool with these and you'll be fine. Setup is simple. It's the same typical process that almost all other Bluetooth headphones require. The only difference is Aftershocks uses a voice assistant named Audrey Says. This guides you through the pairing process, gives you updates on your battery, and assists you with playing music or talking on the phone. Not 100% sure why they named this feature since most other Bluetooth headphones have a similar feature, but nonetheless it is useful for the most part. Oh, and they are compatible with either iOS, Android, or Windows devices. For call quality, the Blue 2S's have dual noise cancelling microphones which work relatively good, although definitely not perfect or as good as a dedicated Bluetooth earpiece such as something from Jawbone. Music is a different story however, and actually a different experience in general than what I'm accustomed to. Since these are not going inside your ear canal, there is no noise cancellation at all, and that's a good thing and it's aimed at athletic trainers that need to remain focused and safe. The volume actually gets surprisingly loud and it's pretty clear for the most part. It, despite my doubts, sounds great. In fact, if you crank them up too loud and are a bit sensitive around your cheek area, you might feel a slight tickle. There are built-in EQ presets, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to use them or access them, but truthfully, if you have a device that is somewhat modern and you're using something like Spotify or even your built-in music player, you have EQs right there on your phone, so it's just fine. They're not going to impress any audiophile by any means, but given the technology and safety behind them, I think they do a pretty good job. I guess the real issue comes down to comfort. They feature a behind the head style design, which is all good. When attaching the included adapter, it at least gives you some type of support so they fit a little bit more snugly. They are pretty tight on the sides, which I know is needed to send the vibrations for optimal sound, but it can seem a bit uncomfortable at times. There's no padding located in the ear hooks, which result in hard plastic resting on top of the crevices of your ears. If you add the extra weight of these headphones, plus use them for extended periods of time, it can result in a headache. For a workout session lasting between 45 to 60 minutes, you should be okay. The good news is these things really grip your head like Shaq can grip a basketball. I mean, you don't have to worry about these things flying off or falling off when you're running, jumping, climbing, or rolling. Battery is pretty decent on these too. According to the manufacturer specs, you get 10 days of standby and 6 hours of continuous usage. During my testing, I didn't exactly time my usage, but I would say it's pretty close to the 
advertising times just slightly less. It does however charge in two hours as advertised which is dope. If you want detailed specs including sensitivity, frequency response, and all that jazz, hit up the link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, sub, share, follow, and of course be easy. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh.